Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel, which is version 22518. This version was released today, this new build, as you can see, OS build 22518. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the main changes and the main things that happened in this build, what was updated and also some of the fixes that were applied to this build. First of all, what you need to know is that this build will not be offered to ARM64 PCs due to an issue that causes these devices to roll back when attempting to update to this build and Microsoft is currently working on a fix for this. But now before starting to talk about the new features and the new fixes, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated because we are closing into 20k subs and also before starting a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by copkeys.com. Copkeys is an official platform selling official Microsoft keys, game keys for Steam, Origin, and PlayStation. They now have a great Black Friday offer for the Windows 10 Pro license key. You can use the coupon code TB65 for a 65% discount on the Windows 10 license. After you apply the coupon, the price will be only $15. To activate the license, go into settings and activation. Click on change product key, paste the license, and in a few seconds, your Windows will be activated. You can use this license to upgrade or to activate Windows 11 also. Check out copkeys.com at the link below and use the promo code TB65 for a 65% discount. So what is new in build 22518? First of all, we have Spotlight Collection. Spotlight Collection is a new thing added in this build that allows us to get new desktop pictures daily and fun facts about each picture. Unfortunately, this feature is only available to some countries. We're gonna have in the article down below in the description the list of countries which have this feature available. But normally you would be able to access it if you go to right click, personalize, then background, and then here on the personalize your background dropdown, you would have spotlight connection and also after you enable it you would have a icon pop up on your desktop you're going to have a few screenshots here from the microsoft blog unfortunately we are not from one of those countries so we don't have this feature yet but microsoft says that more countries will be added over time another thing that microsoft is implementing in this new build and also this is not available for all insiders including me they added an updated entry point for widgets on the taskbar as you'll see in these screenshots microsoft is adding a new entry points for the weather live content widget and basically this is very similar to that news and interest widget that we had back in Windows 10 and this would open the widgets board by simply hovering over the entry point so most likely all users will disable this because that was very annoying and this could be very annoying again and also if you have your taskbar aligned to the left that widget icon will be implemented near the task view icon and um, the widgets icon I'm not sure why Microsoft is trying this again because in Windows 10 that feature was very very hated on so nobody wanted it proof for that is one of my videos in which I showed you how to disable that has over 100k views so I think that is a very good point that a lot of users wanted that disabled but I'm sure that this can be easily disabled in settings so you don't have to worry about that unfortunately I don't have it on my computer yet because this only rolls out to certain Windows insiders Microsoft is also introducing voice access so voice access is something that enables everyone including people with mobility disabilities to control their PC and author text using their voice for example voice access supports scenarios like opening and switching between apps browsing the web and reading and authoring mail to enable this you would normally have to go into the settings app and then to accessibility then down to integration and speech and as you can see here we have voice access and if we turn it on we will have voice access and we have to download basically that this will set up voice access in Windows 11 this is actually pretty interesting and we're going to try a few things to see how this is working. And basically here we can do the setup. We have to set up your microphone first, then go again. I'm going to skip the guide and then click on done. If you also want this to start with your computer, you can select start voice access after you sign into your computer. And if you check this, this will open up with your computer after you log in. So in the article down below in the description, you're gonna find more info about how to use this voice access feature, a lot of instructions on how to complete common tasks in Windows. So you're gonna see a few screenshots here, which will show you voice access number overlays, also the grid overlay that this has implemented and so on, but we're not gonna 
go in depth in this video because this can take a while. So we're going to move on to the next feature. If you want to find out more about this feature, you can go on in the article down below. Another change is that starting with this build, Microsoft is rolling out an underlying platform change to improve the overall performance and reliability of the input switcher for insiders using multiple keyboard languages and layouts. Also, Microsoft is updating this, so that will be looking really, really nice. Again, this is not available to all insiders and uh, only some of us will get it, which is kind of sad for those that don't receive it yet. Also, some updates were made to the context menu in File Explorer to have some options on the top level. So you will have the install options when you right click on font files or .inf files, install certificate when right clicking on a .cer file, map network drive and disconnect network drive when right clicking on this PC, and also disconnect when right clicking on network drives. So this could be a really nice change that could increase the productivity level for some certain tasks that we do on our operating system. The ability for personalized combinations of emoji based on face and skin tones of family members, etc. that rolled out first in the build 22 504 is now available to all insiders in the dev channel. And also starting with build 22509, Microsoft began rolling out a change to display your clock and date on the second monitors. Now this is available to all Windows insiders. Also, for those of you who don't know, Microsoft released yesterday a new version of the Notepad app in Windows 11. If you want to check this out, you will have a link to the video that I've made yesterday about this. Also in this build, Microsoft is making it easier to install the Windows subsystem for Linux from the Microsoft Store. So we would just be able to search for the Windows subsystem for Linux and we would have it on the Microsoft Store. So starting in this preview build, Microsoft made it easier for new users to get started with the Windows subsystem for Linux by changing the WSL.exe minus install command to install WSL from the Microsoft Store by default. So this is really, really nice. Regarding the fixes in this build, Microsoft fixed an explorer.exe crash related to having websites pinned to the taskbar. That is really, really nice. Also, some improvements to the search box were applied, some visibility of the text, and also some performance fixes were applied to this. And of course, we have a whole bunch of other fixes, and you're going to be able to find all of those in the article down below in the description. You can go there and see if you were probably more issue that you faced in the previous build was fixed. Regarding known issues, of course, there are a few new known issues in this build and that also can be accessed in the link down below from the description if you access the itstechbase.com website. This is the build for today, 22518. I'm hoping you enjoyed this video. Unfortunately, as you can see, Microsoft is uh, releasing new features but only rolling them out to certain Windows insiders, so most of them are not available for a lot of us, unfortunately, but that's what Microsoft Microsoft does so we cannot do anything about it. If you're on the dev channel, make sure to install this to check out this new build and let me know down below in the comments what you think about it. Don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from tech based until next time. Have a nice day.